Well, Amazon has rolled out a Chinese language version of its Japanese website to cater to the growing number of Chinese shoppers who prefer to buy goods from Japan. Bloomberg saying Chinese online shoppers are being deterred from domestic e-commerce sites due to the abundance of counterfeit and defective goods sold on those portals. In response, Amazon Japan has also introduced lower shipping rates from Japan to mainland China, prompting forecasters to predict e-commerce sales from China to Japan to triple by 2019 to 22.5 billion US dollars. Joining me now in the studio is consumer behaviour and international marketing expert Dr. Billy Abraham. Dr. Abraham, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now, this is particularly interesting because of the historic tensions when it comes to trade relations between the two countries. Exactly. Well, uh, we do know from, from research that was conducted in, in, in China and Japan that Chinese consumers are deterred from buying um, Japanese products because of the Nanjing massacre. Um, According to a study that was published in 1998, we know that there's no difference between generations. The older generation and younger generation do not want to buy uh, Japanese products, but they do say, you know, we do, we do perceive them as high quality products. However, lately, we do see that there is an increase in the number of people Japanese products because, you know, the younger generation, they, mm -hmm. they already forgot about the history. And it happens also here. I mean, I, I, I've studied um, the effect of the Holocaust on, on Jewish uh, consumers, and you do see that over the generations. Right. Um, it becomes less intensive. So how is Amazon going about this? What strategy are they using? Well, what they're doing is this. First of all, there's a, a head-on competition between Amazon and Alibaba. And Amazon is introducing a Chinese interface in order to lure in Chinese consumers. Mm -hmm. uh, and Alibaba, uh, what it's doing is it's 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 cooperating with a uh, insurance company in order to insure uh, Chinese consumers regarding the counterfeit products because Chinese Chinese consumers do not want to buy Chinese products because they're perceived as defective, as you said, sure. and counterfeit. So what, what, what is it about these Chinese consumers that makes them so attractive? Okay, well, we do know that there's an increasing number of Chinese consumers who are now in the middle and upper uh, social, uh, socioeconomic status, which means that they have more disposable income and they spend more. Another thing is that we know that the Y generation, or known as the new generation as opposed to the old generation, they're, most, they're more sophisticated consumers, mm -hmm. but they spend more freely. So taking these, thing, these two things combined makes them very attractive, attractive. And by the way, they don't just spend a lot of money on consumer products, they spend a lot on traveling. We know that in 2013, they've spent $139 billion traveling the world. Right. So they have a lot of disposable income. And how is, the, how is what's going on online translating into sales on the ground on mainland China? Okay, well, if we compare 2010 to 2015, in 2010 there were 3% 3, 3 of the population bought online. 2015 it went up to 15%. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in the last um, Singles Day sale, which is uh, you know equivalent to the Black Friday, mm -hmm. uh, ch Chinese consumers spent $14 billion in one day buying online. Yeah. And that's, as you said, it's projected to increase to $22 billion by 2019. But are they expecting to see these products that they can buy online, these Japanese products, they're expecting to see them and that, you know, the same quality product in their stores at home? Yes, right. A lot of a lot of Chinese travelers do go to Japan. Some of them buy in Japan, but some of them go back home and they buy online products. And yes, they do expect the quality to increase. They do want higher quality products. So we know that in developing countries, more and more people are, are going online to do their shopping. Are we seeing a similar trend like that in China? Yes, there is an increase uh, in purchase behavior. We, if we compare offline to online, um, the increase in, in sales online is 20% a year, which is which was really enormous in comparison to about 7% offline. Okay. Now, we did talk about it before, about the perception that Chinese goods ha have a reputation of being counterfeit or, or faulty in some way. What's given rise to this kind of reputation? Well, uh, a lot of a lot of news about about counterfeit products. A lot of news about defective products. Now, you know, it, one of the reasons that people buy counterfeit products is because some people don't have money to buy luxury products, mm -hmm. and that's why there is a big market for counterfeit products. If we look at luxury products, it's a multi-billion-dollar um, industry. Not only on, not only in the developed 
world, but also in the developing world. And when people don't have enough money to buy luxury products, because you know it does say something about my image, etc., etc., mm -hmm. then they go and buy counterfeit products. So you're saying that the change in landscape in terms of the middle, the growing middle class, that's shifting people's choices away from buying counterfeit products now, wanting the real deal. Exactly, more disposable income, more money to spend. Exactly. What what can China do to change its reputation, if anything? Okay, well, a country image is, is uh, comprised of many components. First of all, you have to produce high quality products. That's one. Another mm -hmm. thing is your political regime. If it's a democracy, it has a better image. If it's a communist regime, it has a poorer image. Do you respect human rights? Your international relations with other countries? All of these things together comprise your country image. And by the way, if you are an attractive uh, destination, holiday destination, and people come to your country and they like what they see and they've enjoyed your stay, then it increases your image. Dr. Billy Abraham, thank you so much for that update. That is all we have time for on the show today. You have been watching The Daily Beat on i24 News. Thank you for joining us.